at the start of the year, uh, the county and the state and the city all get together and all the, all the areas in the region and we coordinate our projects as far as what projects we're going to do, the timing of them all, and try to fit something for the region that works in terms of traffic control. The city has a program where we annually rate all of our roads. So we are very familiar with the condition of all our roads and we track the performance of the roads. We can see how fast they're deteriorating. And this is an important factor that we look at when we decide what roads that we're going to repair next. Another factor is the amount of traffic the road gets. This construction season started out with Van Dyke reconstruction. It's a significant project in the city of Sterling Heights as we're replacing all the concrete pavement from 15 mile road to 18 mile road and then also seeing a resurfacing of Van Dyke from 14 mile road to 15 mile road. The goal is for MDOT to complete all of the concrete work this year, all the paving work this year, and have it open to uh, construction for the winter season. In the spring of 16, MDOT will be back out on site completing the restoration in the median, completing the landscaping, the new street lighting that will be overhead, um, and some of the punch list items as well. The end product in Van Dyke will be very similar to the geometrics that you see today. You'll have three lanes of pavement, there'll be new concrete pavement, you'll have a median, and the crossover locations will be very similar to where they are now. Um, what you will see is an improvement in the median. You'll have new landscaping within the median, new street lighting, there'll be LED lighting with uh, black poles. We'll have uh, mast arms that you will see for the signalization, which is similar to uh, the traffic signals that you'll see at at 16 mile road and mound that were just installed by the county. You'll also see some smart bus stop improvements. Uh, there's seven new shelters that are being put up and some decorative benches along some of the other stops as well. Another major road project was Mound Road concrete repairs northbound from 18 mile road to M59. The county completed that project earlier this spring. Much needed repairs to Mound Road uh, provides for uh, that addresses the deteriorated pavement in that area. The county also worked on Shaner Road, north of 14 Mile Road, up towards uh, the Red Run Drain with some concrete repairs as well to address some deteriorated pavement. To stick on the major road theme, 19 and a half mile road, which we're at right now, this project was funded through the Roads Risk and Recovery Act that the state put into place in 2013. Uh, this project was a well-needed project. Some of the worst pavement in the city was right here. Um, we did a concrete reconstruct west of the railroad and an asphalt reconstruct east of the railroad. And it significantly helps uh, the businesses in this area, the commuters, and addresses pavement that was in a complete failed condition. Another major road project that we'll be doing this fall is 15 mile road resurfacing from Ryan to DeGwinder. Uh, the resurfacing project will also include the intersection of 15 mile road and uh, Ryan road and all the approaches coming into the intersection on Ryan road and east of 15 mile road as well. Um, the pavement, it's project, a project we've been looking at for a while now. The pavement is 30 years old and reached the end of its useful life. Um, this is a preventative maintenance project that will add 10 to 15 years to the life of the pavement uh, in the form of an asphalt resurfacing. It's anticipated this project will be completed prior to November 15th of this year. In addition to major roads, there was significant work on local roads this year, expending the safe streets millage and some Act 51 funds. Approximately four and a half million dollars were spent on local roads in the form of uh, reconstruct, complete reconstruction and sectional repairs. Uh, approximately 11 to 12 streets were completely reconstructed and another 35 to 40 locations seen significant improvements through the sectional repair program which addresses pavement in 100 foot lengths to clean up the entire street by just doing through sections. 
the Office of Engineering takes a lot of care in realizing that when we're in the subdivisions, reconstructing those roads, doing pavement repairs, that the project will only be deemed successful if the residents in the area view it that way as well. Um, it's a major disruption to them. You know, we take very careful procedures and how we complete the project, how we phase the projects out to ensure the least amount of disruption is possible. For the most part, you know, we notify the residents well in advance. If there is an issue, if there is uh, something that we need to work around, graduation parties, for instance, house for sales, walkthroughs, any of those items, any of those issues, we will work with the residents to try to minimize the impact. But we realize that communication is a key in these local road projects to keep the residents aware of what's happening, what's happening next, and it's a very, very important part to create a successful project.